This is the entrance to a mine shaft where one of the world's most precious metals is mined every day here in Kenya, gold. Geoffrey Rotich, a miner here at the Karebe Dam, as well as many of his colleagues, went down this shaft on the 23rd of January, expecting to haul back gold. But what they found underneath was something altogether different. You know the expression, there's gold underneath these hills? Well, what they found was treachery, deceit, an explosion and death. This was one of three sad occasions held within the span of two weeks, where men in blue overalls and hard hats hoisted their colleague onto their shoulders, almost like fallen soldiers carried off the battlefield. Geoffrey Rotich, just 36 years old, was one of those men. His name might not ring a bell, but he meant everything to his family. And they are deeply angered by his murder. Geoffrey, Josfat, Zakayo, and the hundreds of employees at the Karebe Mining Company were seeing positive changes in their lives, which they owe to the company. But for every year that the company operated, tensions were simmering between it and members of the local community. Until they come back and negotiate with the community. The management has refuted the claims, saying it has operated under the confines of the law. That would eventually lead to Rotich's murder. As said to be as a result of an attack by illegal miners who blasted an underground wall, killing the three on the spot. The tension had been caused by a dispute between the company and members of a family that they had first leased land from to mine. Everyone on the Karebe side of the argument claims that things had become so bad that threats were being issued openly to employees of the company. Joffrey's widow says she remembers him making very cryptic comments about how high the stakes were. <laughs> They started screaming, and it was now becoming dark. So on that process of screaming, there are so many people who went there. You know? And luckily enough, our MD, we were together at Rock Quarry. You know? So these guys went to the gate. <laughs> Kidogo tunaambiwa wamechoma nyumba ya generator. Kidogo generator ilikuwa ndani ilichomeka. Kidogo wan tunaambiwa wamechoma gari ya MD. Kidogo tunaambiwa wamechoma nyumba ya MD. That day ended in infamy across Nandi County. Burnt cars and property and a community on edge. The company rebuilt but the enmity smoldered at the edges of what looks like a peaceful Nandi escarpment, only to erupt once more on January the 23rd, leading to Joffrey's death. <laughs>